God doesn't heal us by waving a magic wand, by passing the cooperation of our free will. So free your mind because your hands, your hands are no longer working in chains, but you are suspended on heavy chains of mental slavery. See, I am a woman. I'm not silver, gold, or bronze. I'm made of flesh and bones mounted on the fragile heart of a woman, but I am wall and human. So no apologies when I have to swim my butt, shaking off your pride, and I resent having to wear this gender like it's an apology more than I resent having to cover my body to stop starved and salivating men from ripping me naked. So clothe your soul and guard your dignity. It's the only way that humanity is built. You see this? Emily Karimi Muruki was born on 8th January 2000 in Meru, Nkubu. She is a writer, poet, performing artist, and a mental health enthusiast. She is a second born in a family of... Emily K. Milan is the author of Black Girl Magic, a poetry anthology that embraces the existence of a black woman in a vast, diverse world. She believes that art is the voice that whispers in the darkest night, and this belief fueled her to use her craft as a tool to advocate for social political change in the society. She has always been a creative girl, having been brought up in a Christian household with supportive parents. Emily attended Mariamo Boarding School and later got her Kenya Certificate of Primary Education in the year 2012 from Kirogine Primary School. She later joined Mabimoni High School for her secondary education, which she completed in the year 2016. With a BA in IT from Maseno University, Emily has a wide knowledge of religion and can friendly speak three languages, Kiswahili, English, and Meru. Influenced by say, me to travel because I was brought up in Meru and spent most of my childhood there. And so Maseno is in Kisumu and it's quite a distance traveling to the place so it was interesting trying to meet new people out here and see how things run at different counties and as an artist the more that you keep exploring different places the more you realize the different and amazing things that come to this so in 2017 i i discovered a club in school it was an art club known as Spoken Heart Thursdays. It's, it's one of the best things that happened to me in school, actually, because I made most of my friends out of there. So I, I carried most of my pieces or the interest that I had in writing since when I was in high school. And so when I went there, I actually found that people were doing that on stage, and it was known as Spoken Words like people were writing and performing their poetry. I got a lot of music. Her passion for art has earned her opportunities to perform in stage with great Kenyan artists. Amidst her busy schedule, the multi-talented artist mentors and trains young upcoming talents with support from her current workstation, Sana Center. At the age of 22, Emily has received several recognitions and awards for being an outstanding artist. Giza anazama hajui nani anamtazama huzuni inafanya na shikatama riziki kupata utakazana mimi najaribu nimekaa sana tuliemwita mwenyekiti bado anakazana ona tena amesimama akileta mtoto analeta sani yake ulisikia sauti Hebusa tazama. Hii ni kama imevunjika nini? 
unatumaini bado wa unini hebu tazama maziwa yamemshinda ndao she aspires to have a great career as an artist two dogs a ranch and a family some